we're going to set the editor to the professional version now. Okay, so we we'll go back into the setup again, into the plugins. Uh, we're going to enable the backplot, enable the advanced simulation, and enable the advanced NC functions. Okay, now you can see that we have the backplot toolbar available and also the um, NC Assistant or Macro Toolbar. So let's just have a quick look at the um, NC Assistant or Macro Toolbar. So we're going to open up a new file. Um, we'll turn on the um, NC Assistant, which is over here. And these are all our macros that we can insert into the program. So a macro is just a quick way of inserting code into the program. So we're going to start off with a program start and end. So if I just double click on that, it then brings up the uh, macro, which we'll fill in. So we're going to start off with program 1000, um, give it a name, test uh, tool description, 10 mil flat, tool number one, offset number one, spindle speed 3000, offset 54, rapid to x0, y0, um, z10, and then click OK. And you can see that it's inserted quite a bit of code for us, and that's um, done by the macro function. So we'll just have a quick look at how you set up the macros. Um, so that's on this toolbar here. Um, so now you can see um, here on the left hand side we have all our macros listed and this is the macro definition here so you can see that um, there's some variables which are highlighted in yellow um, so we can add variables into our macro and these are the boxes that prompt us for uh, to enter data when we run the macro so we'll just close that it's quite a nice feature if you're doing a lot of manual programming you can very quickly insert code 